What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Soul Break. Thanks for stopping by my channel. So as you probably know by now, Nike has been releasing a lot of shoes with the Ray Guns themes. And this Nike Air Flight 89 in the Ray Guns colorway is part of that sort of campaign. And uh, I, I've always wanted to uh, cop a pair of Flight 89s just to, just like to check them out. And I wanted the uh, white and blue like OG pair, but they never released in my home country. And when I went to the mall and checked out like the, uh, the kind of the black and uh, green and yellow pair, the, the quality on that pair was pretty terrible. So I just kind of passed on that. But recently they released these and these are basically sitting everywhere where I live. So I was like, well, why not just give it a shot and just uh, check them out in hand. So these arrived today in the mail and let's just dive right into the shoe. So um, <clears throat> as you can see, the, the, uh, the entire upper is predominantly black and it's done in this uh, black leather and which is pretty um, uh, smooth to the touch. I wouldn't say it's like top-notch quality, but it's far better than what I had seen in the one of the pairs that I uh, actually checked out at the stores before. So I'm pretty um, surprised that they use kind of this kind of like different leather on it. But uh, again, it's 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 nothing fantastic. It's just it's just an okay type of leather. And then the uh, the upper is accented by this leather uh, tumbled leather uh, white Nike swoosh here near the ankle area of the shoe. And then moving further down along the shoe, you can see this kind of like side flap that's like uh, attached to the entire shoe with this kind of uh, nylon orange lining. Uh, as I've mentioned this in a previous video, uh, gold and orange are like the uh, the recurring uh, colors that uh, that appear in Ray Guns themed shoes. And it seems like Nike has, you know, paid good attention to detail and then just like kind of sprinkled the uh the entire shoe with these small details uh as you can see it's you've got this kind of lace holder in this uh gold color and then moving towards the front of the shoe you've got this uh toe box with without like it doesn't have any like perforated holes in it you just see this kind of like flat um black leather once again the quality isn't top notch but it's just it's there's nothing wrong with it i think this thing is really built like a tank and then moving further up along the shoe, you've got this kind of um, perforated mesh tongue, which is really plush to the touch. It really, it's well cushioned. I, I think it's really nice. Um, and then you got this white uh, laces, factory laced onto the shoe. Uh, and then on the side of the shoe, you can see this kind of like uh, nylon material where you see the eyelets. Um, one thing that I've noticed is that this shoe doesn't have like like great perforation at all. Uh, you know, I've been told that the Flight 89 models released in, in the same year as the Jordan 4s. Uh, so you can probably see the, the resemblance here. But uh, as you probably know, the Jordan 4 models has some sort of like perforation holes here on the side. But this basically has nothing uh, like that here and then on the back side of this shoe this is where things get interesting once again we see that uh alien face for the roswell reagans in this basketball uh shape and it's just like a green logo uh embroidered uh and onto the uh the heel counter of the shoe i wouldn't say the qc is the best thing because it looks kind of crooked in the as you can see in the camera but anyways that's just that and then uh, uh, on the tip of the tongue, you can see that huge air flight text in orange embroidered onto the tongue. Once again, I really like the, uh, the use of orange uh, on this predominantly black shoe. It really makes the, uh, the details pop. And I think the quality of the embroidery is uh, it's quite nice because uh, this isn't an, an expensive shoe. Obviously, this is a lot cheaper compared to the Air Jordan 4s, but, you know, it seems pretty nice. And then at the back of the tongue, you see that Air Flight text here. That's very similar to the uh, what we see on the Air Jordan 4s, you know. So I think that's pretty cool detail. And the this gold tongue is really well cushioned. It's really smooth and plush to the touch. And then 
you get this uh, nylon sock liner and that gold color. I really like this part of the shoe. It's really, the color is really rich and it really makes the shoe pop. And you do get some like perforation around the, uh, the ankle area. And then one thing that's really cool is that, you know, as I've, uh, as I've shown you in my uh, Air Force One Ray Guns review, the the insole of the shoe is predominantly black and then you got that ray guns text uh, done in gold letterings and so that's a really cool detail and then moving on to the midsole of the shoe the, the upper layer of the midsole is this kind of like uh, bright orange plastic material and i think this material is really really similar to uh what we see on the uh the air uh, air jordan 4 models and actually i've been i've read online that the air jordan 4s and the flight 89s basically use the same outsole so as you can see the resemblance here there's the tra the traction pad is basically the same deal it's all on white and then you got the nike uh logo in the the mid area of the outsole so basically <clears throat> what you see here is basically the same thing as we see on um air jordan 4 models and the other side of the shoe is basically the same deal so yeah uh i think it's a really really cool colorway and the quality is it's pretty okay it's nothing like like uh like fabulous but it's nothing too shabby either uh because i've seen some other pairs and wow uh, they're terrible in quality but i think uh nike did a good job of stepping up the quality on this model um wearability wise honestly i don't think i would wear these because you know i do have like the the virat fours and those are pretty cool they're really nice looking but uh, these do have a slightly more retro vibe to the overall uh, model. It's just that I don't think I can like really pull these off on a regular basis. Obviously, the colorway is cool, and it's like it's not. It is a black shoe, so it's wearable. It's just that I'd much rather just wear my fours um, uh, than these. So, uh, so yeah, that's my tip on wearability and sizing. I have no idea, but what I can tell you is that judging from the, uh, the shape of the toe box and the outsole and how similar they are to what we see on the Jordan force, I'm pretty sure that this area is probably going to like rub against your pinky and the toe is probably like stiff as a rock. So what I suggest is that you go at least half a size or a full size up when you uh, when you cop these. But that's just my uh, guess based on what, what I've experienced with the, the uh, Jordan 4 models. So if you would like a more detailed uh, sizing tip, you might want to check out some other videos on YouTube. Um, and basically, there's basically no re resale value on this. You can just get these for retail right now. I'm pretty sure they're just like sitting everywhere like bricks i'm not shitting on the shoes i really like the colorway it's just base. it's just not like uh something that i want in my collection i do really like the air force ones it's just that i don't picture myself wearing these at all and there's no reason to pay resale for these i'm actually thinking that these might go under retail and if they do go on sale i might um consider uh buying these again just to you know just for the heck of it because i i like the ray guns theme a lot but other than that i don't i don't really see a reason why i should keep this in my collection but i'm pretty sure there are a lot of people who are wondering how these look in hand so uh anyways i hope you found this video informative or helpful uh in making your decision so yeah that's basically it for today and if you enjoyed watching this video please have to hit that subscribe button it really helps my channel grow and i really 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 appreciate all your support and interest uh i've seen that you know views are going up these days subscriber numbers are going up these days so i'm really trying to push as many content as possible so or as much content as possible so yeah i'll keep push, uh, posting more videos really soon uh so and yeah stay safe and thanks for watching